Yeah, greetings and salutations. You have to excuse my neighbor. He's been he's been blowing off his his yard now for four hours, three hours. Anyway, how about a bus update? Okay. So last time we were together on the bus here. Um, I was installing um, my tanks so I, I'm on the driver's side of the bus where the, the exit ports are you see I haven't done anything else here I do have the gate valves I, um, I'm not really sure how uh, to install them at this point until I get the little barb things that the, the actual waste hose hooks to but <laughs> So, and I still haven't bolted them down, but this is where the tanks are going to be. So I've got a roughly, you know, by the time I get the gate valve in and uh, the spigots to hook them up, I'm going to be out to here. So there's not going to be a whole lot of room left in this bay. That's okay. I still got this whole bay open. Let's go look at the other side. Uh, so you can see on this side, I have my my plumbing is roughed in I still have to uh, figure out how I'm going to secure it to the frame rail uh, I have some ideas I just haven't found what I'm looking for to do it but I have all this plumbed in in uh, in place and once the gate valves are in then I can test it uh, but I have all this room here for this for uh, for this right here I have some room for storage here I still got to hook up the drains for the for the sink and the shower uh, I do have the stuff I need to finish that I need to finish that next week and there's about where the fuel cell is gonna sit I was gonna put it over here but I don't have enough room but look what I've been doing on the inside all right so I have to take the uh, kitchen cabinets back out because I decided I am going to back uh, do the backs with plywood to make it easier to attach to the walls. Well, what do you think of this stuff? That entire wall down there is done too. Uh, you can see the bunks there. And, and that's the whole reason why I did the 16 inch roof raise. So I can put three kids on top of each other. But this is this stuff is pre-finished rough sawn. It's poplar, but poplar and oak, I think. Um, but it's pre-finished. It comes in um, boxes like that, weathered wall boards, roughly I think ten and a half square feet per package. It comes out to about two and a half, uh, about 250 a square foot, which isn't cheap, but I don't have to finish it. So, bonus. And I think I'm going to do this wall with this. And I might even do the side of the cabinet here. And then from roughly here up with that same stuff uh, this of course is all going to be tile and I think up here this is all going to be uh, paneled like fabric covered panels I didn't mention it but 
There's my countertops. Let me move some stuff out of the way. There's my countertop. And, uh, and there's the countertop on the other side. And my sink. <laughs> this sink is an interesting story. Stainless steel drop-in sink. Uh, I think it's only about six inches deep. So to buy this sink from like Home Depot, it's it's over a hundred dollars. There's a guy just across the way, next street over from me, just around the block, that has a perpetual garage sale at his house every weekend. And he what he does is he drives around to big box stores in Vegas and and in the area and in uh, other different stores and stuff in the area and he talks to the managers and says what do you want to close out i'll buy it all and he buys it brings it home and sells it at his garage sale so i got that for 20 bucks not bad countertop i bought if you're doing like a conversion and you want an inexpensive countertop ikea go to ikea i bought this countertop it's 24 Five and five and eighths inches deep, inch and a half thick. It's a, of course, it's a particle board core, as you can see. But I got 98 inch long section of this stuff for 70 bucks. And they have like a, you know, a budget line of countertops that run from $70 to $250. And then they got, of course, the the high budget stuff that you know you know ten dollars a square foot but 70 bucks for a countertop i didn't think that was too bad and that's how the the uh actually i think i screwed that thing in yep so that's the way this is going to be i just need to caulk it in place i need to caulk it and i need to get some plumber's putty and caulk and glue that thing down and i still need to get a uh spigot and a soap dispenser I don't think you can see it. Maybe no. Yeah. Oh, let me turn on the light. Hey, look at that. So there's my uh, toilet. That's where my toilet's going to sit. Um, there's the hole for the drain for the shower. Yeah. So anyway, I had to cut another hole on the roof. This is my uh, poop vent for both the gray and black water tanks. So. They get vented to atmosphere on the roof rather than through the toilet or the drains. So in the next coming week or two, I'll be wrapping up the plumbing, getting the supply lines uh, wrapped up and, and tested to make sure they don't leak. And then I'll start plumbing the uh, fuel system for the generator, get that thing up and running. Then I'll test the waste system, make sure that doesn't leak because you really don't want the black tank leaking. That would really suck. And uh, once the uh, once the plumbing is all inspected and um, for leaks and that's good to go, then I think uh, I'm at a point now where I can run this down to the DMV, do the proper paperwork, get this thing uh, retitled as a uh, RV instead of a bus, and then I can get insurance on it and start using it. So that's just a quick and nerdy uh, bus update. Uh, hope you liked it. If you did, hammer away at the like button. If you thought it sucked and I'm an idiot, then hammer away at the other one. Uh, if you did like the video, I'd appreciate it if you shared this with your vast social media network. That helps the channel out immensely. Uh, if you don't mind, check down in the uh, video description for uh, anything that you might be interested in purchasing from the Amazons. And uh, there's uh, Amazon links down there. That's one which you can support the channel financially. Uh, thank you in advance, by the way. If you haven't done so yet, underneath this window is a red button that says subscribe. Click that subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it so that you'll be notified of future uploads. And um, until next time, you have fun, stay safe, shoot straight, keep your powder dry, and have a splendid day. Bye.